Matt, thanks very much for joining us. One over par through six holes on a day that you knew you needed to break 70 in order to mm. stay in touch with the leader. How pleased with 67? Very happy. Um, it's I'm showing myself a lot of sort of new things of staying patient and knowing that my game's good enough to make some birdies. Um, and I didn't play well for two holes, pretty much. Um, made a good par on four and then five, I hit it way right. and back to back hit it right off the tee and hit it into a tree and made a six on a par five so which is not not nice to do but stuck at it and just kind of thought okay there's six bad holes let's just go from now and I played the rest quite nice. Is it a different kind of pressure knowing you have to shoot something in really the mid 60s every round to mm. win here with the course playing as, as well as it is? Uh, there is that sort of added pressure um, but I just kept saying to myself I shot nine under yesterday I'm playing some good stuff um, I'm allowed to play bad. I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to put bad swings on it. I'm allowed to hit bad shots. But what I'm not allowed to do is like get down on myself about it and and crack on. You know, crack on, move on. I know I'm swinging it well, so commit to every shot. And um, I did that and played smart in areas uh, and then left a couple a couple out there as well. So I'm I'm in a good place. Low scoring weeks like this are sometimes labelled a putting competition. Is that ever fair? Um. Tough question, yeah, that's a hard question. <laughs> Thinking about this week in particular, um, it's just it's just wide off the tee in in areas. You know, it's uh, you can hit some bad ones. I've managed to lose uh, lose a ball or have to take a penalty drop off the off two tee shots this week. So it's obviously not wide enough for me. Um, but no, it's it's wide in areas, and that kind of can you can get away with it a little bit a little bit, and then still be able to have a putt uh, for a birdie and. Yeah, so it comes down to holding putts. Looks like tomorrow you're going to be in the final three ball with Andy Sullivan mm. and Ross Fisher, three Englishmen together. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, very much so. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time with them this week, actually, at dinner and stuff, seeing them and just talking to them. So it'll be good. Uh, I've got uh, Sean on the bag, who used to caddy for Sully as well. So they'll know each other well. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Three English guys at the top, that's nice. Great playing so far. Well done. Thanks, Tim.